pretty um, botanical painting. Some tropical leaves in there. Reminds me of spring. So um, if you haven't already, grab some water, grab some brushes, your canvas, and your paint. And we're going to start. All right, so those of you that I don't know, my name is Kate. Um, teaching you guys here from the Firestone. Actually, this is my home studio, also known as my kitchen table. So bear with me. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna lead you guys through this. If you can't see or hear me well, uh, let me know. Or if you need me to stop in the middle, uh, let me know. Danielle or Sophia is going to be on here answering questions. Um, I would say to allow at least an hour to be painting this with me tonight. Um, we'll see. It might go a little bit quicker. might take us a little bit longer. Um, yeah, so let's get started. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, pour my colors. I do have some colors pre-poured. Um, with this painting, there's actually a lot of different greens. So the main colors that we're gonna use tonight are green and white. Um, also a little bit of brown and a little bit of red. Um, let me see, Winnie, are you here? I know you're trying to get on, let me see here. Okay, oh yay, Winnie's here, okay. So here's my colors pre-poured, like I said, um, we're going to use a lot of white, I got some green, a little bit of brown, and a very deep red. If you ordered uh, the to-go kit from us, you should already have this um, pre-traced, and all the colors that we're using tonight will be in there for you. This is acrylic paint. So um, just be careful, it does stain. So just be careful as you're working with it. All right, so you should have with you a few brushes. Um, to start, uh, you're gonna wanna use a brush that has a squared off um, bristles or flat bristles. So if you have one of those, grab that. All right, hopefully everybody can see that. And the first color, the first part of this that we're going to paint is we're going to paint the, that pretty pink background. Um, now this is, obviously this is your piece, so if at any time you want to switch up the colors, that's totally fine. Um, I'm going to go along with what the sample looks like and try to paint those colors pretty similar um, to what we have there. So like I said, the first step is we're gonna start filling in all around our flowers, or I'm sorry, our leaves, and we're gonna make that pretty pink color. Okay. So we have our brush here. Um, if you do have an extra palette, I grabbed an extra one because we are gonna be doing a lot of mixing of the colors. I would grab one. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take, we call it one part or one brush full of the deep red. Okay, I'm just put that right there because we're gonna be mixing, mixing it up to get that pretty pink. All right, then I'm gonna take three brush loads full or three parts of the white. So just one, two, three, and just mix those right up with your brush. Okay, and again, like I said, it's up to you. If you want to add some more white here, you can. Just depends what color you're going for. The more white you add, the lighter this color is going to be, the lighter the pink, more red that you add, the darker it's going to be. All right, you guys can see that. Add a little bit more white into mine. I feel like mine's still too red. I want it to be a little bit more pale. It's getting there. All right, so 
Now, once you're here, um, I always like to work left to right on the painting um, whenever I'm working. So um, for me, and also I have it turned horizontal, but obviously like it's your preference. If you'd rather work on it um, vertical, you can do that as well. But I'm gonna work on mine this way. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start lightly with short strokes, dabbing this on all around where the trace lines are. Okay, so when I'm needing to get in between all these um, small leaves, what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn your brush. Okay, so you're gonna turn your brush, hold it vertical, and go up and down to get your brush in between those small leaves. Okay, just moving slowly with the brush. Um, if you do happen to cover them up, that's okay, um, because we're gonna go back in after and um, obviously put the green right on top of there. So don't worry about that. You don't even have to worry about getting super up close to the leaves if, you're, if you feel like this brush is too big and you wanna move down to a smaller brush, you can do that as well. Um, you're just gonna to wanna to try, if you do have a brush that has that squared off um, bristle, that's the one that you're gonna look for here. All right, so I'm just lightly short brush strokes here, going in, trying to fill up all that background anywhere around those leaves. I just love the contrast of this pink with the green on this one, it's super pretty. Just feels very, very springy to me. Okay. And if at any point you're like, oh, this is looking, you know, too dark, um, again, you can always go back to your palette add a little more white in there, and that will lighten it up a little for you. Or the reverse, if you're feeling like it's too light, add some more red, it'll darken up for you. All right, so yeah, I'm just making my way around. Like I said, I try to work left to right, just making my way all around these traced out leaves. I try to get as close as I can to the leaf edges, but it can be tough with the big brush. Okay, moving down here. I'm gonna go back, I think, towards the left on this one. Got some here. Short strokes. Let me know if you have any questions. Hi Claire, hi Renee, hi Eddie. It's so weird, I know that guy, Eddie. We have the same last name. All right, let's see. There we go. Again, to get into these small detailed areas of like where the leaf, the stem is here. Rather than holding the brush like this, you wanna turn your brush to the side, okay? Just hold it like you're holding a pencil, and then you're able to go nice up and down, okay, to the side. Or just try to fill in all around these leaves. We're gonna be putting a lot of green on there, so it's gonna be nice to have this pink as a background and as a, a nice contrast to the green. All these small parts inside of the big um, monstera leaf here too. Um, you can move down to a small brush. I'm gonna move down to a smaller brush after I'm done getting the bulk of this pink on there to get into the smaller areas. And if you feel that your paint is not flowing 
as well on the canvas if you feel like it's getting stuck in one part. Um, all you need to do is just uh, dip your brush in some water, okay? Just lightly dip it in the water and then um, just adding a little, just a teeny bit, a teeny bit of water onto your brush is going to help the paint flow better and move more, okay? If you feel like it's, it's like too thick or too globby in any one spot. I do have some music on in the background, so just let me know if it if it's too loud. <laughs> I think it's called the Hug Station on Amazon. I don't know, it felt right. Okay, so all right, so I think that's really like all I can do with my big brush with the pink. So I'm gonna move down um, one size smaller. Same thing, squared off top. And um, I'm gonna try to get in there into the monstera leaves um, that need like some more detail. Okay. Might have to make some more pink here. All right, so now I'm gonna first start up here um, and I'm just gonna fill in. Remember, turn your brush on its side. Sometimes it can be a little tough to tell where the, which is the leaf and which is the in-between. Just kind of want to think about it like stripes, okay? Just slow strokes going up and down. And it's all right if you like miss some spots, we can always go back and fill in. But like I said, we're gonna be putting a lot of green on here. So it's gonna be nice to have um, the pink as a, as a contrast. And the paint brand that we're using, it's called Social Artworking Acrylic Paint. Um, this is the paint that we keep in studio. We find that this works the best on all of our canvas and board art projects. All right, so let's see, there's some monstera leaves again. I'm just doing these short strokes. You don't have to be perfect here, okay? This is just our like first coat. So if it's not like exact, that's okay because we're gonna be going back over this with the green and the cool thing about this is that these are leaves, that's nature, so it's not a perfect, you know, straight line anyways. So um, if we did all of these lines perfect, it wouldn't look real. Hopefully I'm not in the way too much here gonna move this close for a minute so you can kind of see where I'm at. If you guys are like way ahead of me, just uh, go grab a drink. But if you're way behind me, let me know and I'll slow down. <laughs> just trying to fill in. Just like coloring in the lines. That's how you gotta think about it. And I'm feeling like I wanna add a little bit more white in as I move um, across 
the piece just because I feel like the light is going to hit it um, differently. So I want to add some white in some of these spots to kind of um, give it a little bit more dimension and help break it up a little bit. So you'll note, you might notice like my pink getting a little bit lighter in some areas. Hopefully this is nice and relaxing for everybody. Hopefully everyone likes my fuzzy slippers. Alright, what am I thinking? Let me check on my comments. Oh, hi, Julia. Hi, Lori. What do we think? Do we like the pink? Should we darken it up? Should we lighten it? Or is it good? Let me know. Still just trying to fill in those little details. Just going around the trace parts here. Uh, let's see, I missed some up here, it looks like. Short strokes, turning your brush on its side. I wanna get some lighter parts in there, like I said. Lighten it up in some areas. What exactly all of these leaves were um, the only one you know it's called it's just called tropical leaves so I don't know exactly what all these are but if you do or if you think you do let me know all right I think I'm ready to start on my green I'm gonna move on, rinse my brush because we're gonna use the same brush again. Okay, I always recommend if you have three brushes, um, that's always a good way to start pretty much any canvas. Large, medium, and small. So the next thing that I'm going to focus on is I'm going to get in um, on both of these, the Monstera leaves here, and we're going to do the veins of those leaves, okay? So those two big leaves in each corner here, we're going to focus on doing the veins of those. Um, we're going to mix some colors together in order to get kind of that green. Like I said, we're going to be using like four different greens here, um, but we're going to be focusing on doing this here and this one. And we'll add a few little details maybe in here and here while we have that green made, okay? So get your, this uh, that green is called green oxide, 
So get that one. And this time we're gonna do um, two parts. So two brushfuls of the green. So I'm gonna scoop into a new thing here. So two scoops of the green or two brushfuls. Two of the green, let's see. We'll do one scoopful of the raw umber, the brown color, one of the brown umber, and then we'll do about a half scoop of the titanium white. So half a brush full of titanium white, and then mix those together. Let's see. I'm liking this color. All right, so I'm gonna start again on the left here, work left to right. And um, this, my particular brush is about a half inch in length as far as the bristles go. So I'll be okay with just keeping my brush on its side and using it to swipe along. Um, if your brush is wider than half inch, you may want to turn it on its side. Okay, so I'm just going to start on the left. Again, I'm just doing the veins here. So that, that first, that large vein of the leaf. Okay, I'm just going to try and do one big long stroke with it here. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. One, one just long brush stroke. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Stacy. All right. Now I'm going to do um, the rest of the veins here. Okay. And these are smaller. So I am going to turn my brush on its side. Okay. I'm going to start from the middle, from the middle vein and work my way out. And I'm just gonna kind of flick my wrist at the end. Okay, well, just uh, watch me do the first one and then you can see what I mean. Okay, so I'm gonna start from the middle, just kind of curve and flick, flick my wrist. Okay, so you can see it just kind of like tapers off there. Same thing here, turn it to the side and just flick your wrist at the end. Again, we don't want this to look perfect. Okay, this is a plant. It's not perfect. green in on this big leaf that's coming through on the side here. Um, I try to think about this leaf as kind of like a camouflage print um, because we are going to use like three or four different greens here. I would say just pick a couple sections in this big um, leaf here and just use that green that we just made in a couple of those sec sections just to fill it in. All right, so I'm going to pick, let's see, I'm gonna try and do it most most similar to the to the photo that we have or to the sample that we have. So I'm gonna pick this one here first. Just do the outline of it. Okay, it's basically like coloring, just filling the lines. So I'm just gonna do the outline. And just be careful that you don't smudge your pink when you're doing this. another one probably up over here just 
filling in the little sections that are already pre-traced out for you. All right, so I did a couple in there. Um, do I wanna do a couple more? Yeah, I guess I'll do a couple more. I'll do, I'll do one like right here. Filling in those sections. All right, so now I'm gonna move up to this Monstera and I'm gonna do, again, same thing. I'm gonna do the long vein first. So I'm gonna start out on the side here and work my way in. I turn my brush on its side. This one's a little skinnier than the other one. wrote in there. If you didn't have a chance to purchase this um, to-go kit with everything pre-traced in advance, um, we will leave this up and available and uh, you guys can still purchase these kits. comes with paint, brushes, uh, your canvas pre-traced. All right, doing the small veins now. Um, all right, let's start in from the center, work your way out, flick your wrist at the end. In from the center, work your way out, and flick your wrist. catch up to me we're gonna move on to our next green okay the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do this light green so we're gonna do the light green that we see on both of the um, plants here these pretty ones I love this light green super pretty all right we're gonna add in some light green on our camouflage looking leaves all right same brush. So I'm going to rinse this guy again. Is it time for a wine break yet? I don't know. All right, let me see which colors do I want to mix together for this. All right, so for this one, we're going to do... I'm gonna do five parts white. Um, so I'm gonna do five brush loads of white here. Two, three, four, five. I'm gonna do one part of the green oxide. That's our plain green. One. And let's see what that looks like. Mix that up see if I have to add any of that, um, the brown raw umber to this. This is really pretty color. I don't know, I don't think I need to add any brown. I kind of like this. I think I'm gonna stick with, well, maybe I'll add a little, a little just a tiny bit of brown, okay? teeny bit of brown to kind of give it some earthy, a little earthy something. Or I'll, I'll say, like DK knows my favorite word is, it's organic looking. All right, that's pretty. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is, again, working left to right, we are gonna do these big guys, the outlines here, okay? So, not totally, like I have a lot of paint on my brush right now, so I'm gonna wipe some of that off because I don't want it to be too much on here. 
just gonna put the paint just on the end of my brush for this one. Okay, so if you need to, just scrape some of that paint off there. And working left to right, let's start over here, turn my brush on its side. Okay, we're gonna be leaving, so we're filling in kind of the outside and then there's a little inside portion here that we're going to leave empty for now. We're going to go back in with a darker green and fill that in later. Okay. And all of these leaves that we're doing right now, our last step is going to be shading and highlighting everything. So if they're looking like a little too, you know, perfect right now or not, you know, we're not seeing a lot of dimension in it yet because we haven't gone back in and added the shadows and the highlights, which is what gives our picture, um, or I'm sorry, which is what gives our painting that dimension. All right, so I'm just filling in the lines, just one at a time, taking your time here. Short strokes. Standing painter. Um, usually I'd be standing right in front of it just like this, but obviously you guys can't see me that way, so, uh, or you can't see the painting if I do that, but some people choose to um, sit while they paint, um, but I just know for me, I'm definitely a, I have to be standing when I'm painting. Canvas at least. All right, so yeah, I'm just again doing these short strokes. This color is really pretty. Hopefully you guys are happy with your colors. If you want to darken it up a little bit, just add in some more green. Um, maybe you guys are doing a completely different color and that's cool too. Maybe you're doing some bright purple leaves. Whatever you want to do. Right, moving right along here. We're getting there. I think I've missed a little bit on this side here. So this, this sleeve kind of overlaps another one. All right, yeah, did um, Danielle answered your question that Winnie? A light green. It's mostly white. It's a lot of white mixed with the, with the green dioxide. Ooh, I got a hair down there somehow. Short strokes. I think we should do a painting tutorial where you guys tell me what colors to paint. Like, I don't know when I'm painting, but you guys just tell me what colors to do and then we see how that comes out. I feel like that would be fun. All right, so let me move this a little bit. Just give you a quick, so you can see where I'm at. Almost done, just gonna fill in this last uh, light green here. 
right now, and then I'm going to move on. Yeah, this light green is super pretty. working your way a little bit at a time. This is definitely not a fast, not a fast project. A lot of shading, a lot of little details. It's tricky because even though we're not using, um, you know, a wide range of colors, because we're using a wide range of a very similar colors, um, it's actually a harder thing to do. It's actually a little bit trickier. All right, so I have both of those leads done. Now I think I'm going to get in here on this, uh, the camouflage looking leads and add some light green to these as well. So I'm just picking random sections, no rhyme or reason to these. I'm just picking random sections of the pre-trace leads to fill in with this pretty um, light green color now. So whichever sections you want to fill in, you can. Do we want some lighter? Um, I'm going to add some lighter ones down here. In this section here. Short strokes. Just filling in the lines here. In five minutes, we'll take a break, um, just like a two-minute break, so you can go grab another drink or whatever you need to do. It's getting there. I'd say we're, we're halfway there. We are halfway there at this point. Looking through comments here. Sorry, my allergies are full effect right now. All right, so let's, um, before we move on to our next color, let's just take a two minute break, grab a drink, Who's that? Nicholas. Hey, Nicholas. Let me know you're here. If you're watching right now.
would also just at this point make sure you have at least a little bit of white left in your palette. I know we use a lot of white with this, so just make sure you're saving just a little bit of white for the end. Okay. All right, so now we are gonna be filling in a lot with this next step. Okay, we're gonna be doing the bulk of the color here. Uh, we're gonna be filling in both the big uh, Monstera leaves here, we're gonna be filling in this one here. We're gonna be filling in the insides in between our light green here and here. Um, we're gonna be filling in here and filling in our uh, camouflage leaves as well. Okay, so we're gonna use a decent amount of paint here and we don't wanna use that exact same color that we did um, for the veins of the leaves we're gonna switch the color up just a little bit, okay? Because we do want it to have some contrast. So let's see. Um, be harsh. I'm gonna use that same that same brush, and uh, if you're just joining us, the brush that we've been using is uh, it's about a half inch. The bristles and it's a squared off um, top there. Okay, it's also called a bright, bright brush. So let's do, we're gonna do three parts of the raw umber, which is the brown. So we'll do three parts of that. And how much of the green do I wanna do? Um, We'll do one part of green, so we'll do one brush full of the green in there. Mix that up. So we got three brush fulls of the brown raw umber and one brush full of green here. Actually gonna add a little more green a little more of that dioxide green okay and this time around I'm gonna start down here on the big uh, monstera leaf and first what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna again wipe off any excess any extra paint you have on there Okay, I just, I only want the paint to be at the tip of my brush for this one. And I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna do the outline of the leaf first, okay? So I'm just gonna go along the edges of the leaf and outline it. So along those pencil, that traced out pencil marks, just slow and steady with your brush again, just Trying to focus on doing the short strokes. And if you're feeling like this brush is too big, you can always move down to a smaller brush. Uh, sometimes the smaller tip brush will give you a little more control. Short strokes, just outlining these flower, or I keep calling them flowers, outlining these leaves a little bit at a time. Okay. 
Remember, we don't, we do, we're not even like going for a perfect look here, okay? Because our the leaves would not look real if they're perfect, so. We're just going along those outlines as best as we can. One at a time. You can see the leaf starting to take shape here as we go, which is pretty cool. Remember, if you have any questions, you can ask, Danielle is answering questions. Go, make sure we're going on the outside of this leaf here. going up and around that camouflage leaf. And before I start filling in um, this big one here, I'm gonna move over and start doing the outline of this one as well. Okay, so I'm gonna do the outline first and then I'm gonna fill in. Outlining again. So I'm doing my best to follow along with the traced out leaf. If you're feeling like you know, it's not a solid enough color. Like mine is a little, is like a little bit light or a little bit streaky in places. That's okay for right now because we're gonna add some depth to it at the end. So don't worry if it's not looking, you know, totally solid. Filling in the outlines here a little at a time. Good. Yeah, I like the outlines already are making it look good. Let's see. So now um, I have those outlined. Now I'm gonna go in here and get this leaf in the in the corner on there. Okay, this is a tough one. So this one we're definitely gonna do our short, slow strokes, um, just because they're so the leaves on here are so thin. Um, I'm actually gonna move down to a smaller brush than this. So if you have one size smaller, grab that. Let's see. This one's pretty similar. Let's see if I have one size smaller that I can show you. Let's try this guy. Just one size smaller. And if you're running out of paint, you need to make more for this. Gonna, if it's a new brush, I just like to rinse it just a little bit, just so the bristles aren't um, super rough, okay? And um, if you need to make some more, remember it was the um, three parts of brown, and I think I ended up doing one and a half of the green dioxide mixed together. So three parts of brown, and the one and a half, I'm just gonna do 
myself a little bit more here. And it's not the end of the world either if, you know, your colors aren't exact from here to here. You know, these are plants. It's not, they're not exact. All right, so again, I'm kind of wiping off on my palette that excess paint because I really only want the paint to be um, at the end of the brush. And again, I'm turning my brush on its side. Okay, short strokes. Just doing short strokes to do this middle the leaf. up to a brush that the bristles are a little stiffer. Um, I'm going to see if that helps me get um, a thinner look. I think it's gonna, yeah. So these, br these bristles are just a little bit stiffer. It's just helping to get a little bit of a thinner look. All right, and I'm just one at a time. It's gonna kind of overlap that that leaf there, and as I'm going, I'm also noticing some parts that I'm gonna to need to use that pink again to fill in. It's the process. I have on. All right, so while I'm up here, I might, I think I'm gonna just fill these guys in, see what that looks like in the insides of the light green. Definitely gonna need another coat on that one. You can see how it like, uh, well, I'm not sure actually if you can see, but, um, it's really thin, the paint, so it's still letting me see through to kind of the white of the canvas. So I might, I think I'm gonna let it dry a little bit and then go back over it with a second coat. watching and supporting us. We definitely miss having you guys in the studio. I miss teaching teaching classes like three times a week. So it's weird now, but I'm grateful that at least I get to hang with you guys virtually. All right, so I'm just filling in the inside. Short strokes. Everybody keeping up here. Who 
else is here. Hi, Ashley. All right, so we're doing some over here. Coming back in on this side. So our short strokes. And I'm just kind of letting these be, you know, flowy. I don't want that rigid line here. These are leaves. And you'll notice for these ones, rather than um, starting in the middle and going out, I'm starting um, on the outside and going in, just trying to switch up the direction of um, my brush strokes a little bit to hopefully give it a little bit of dimension. Just little things like that do make a difference in the painting. You can see. How it looks. Oh my God. Oh, I'm running out of paint again. I had a feeling this this one is gonna be the majority. This this color is gonna be the majority of our piece here. Brushfuls of brown, two brushfuls of green. All right, so now I'm gonna fill in uh, this monster leaf here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just gonna work, just kind of like coloring in the lines. So anywhere that's white. On this leaf, I'm filling it in. I'm gonna try to work around the veins and around the pink, okay? So again, I'm just wiping off the excess paint on my brush, just trying to keep the paint concentrated to the tip of the brush for this. Working left to right. my way around the pink inside of the flower. And again, if you feel like you don't have a lot of control with the paintbrush, just move down to a smaller brush. time to go in and clean it up. I'm just trying to fill it in. I'm gonna come over here. This side. Just doing my short strokes here, going around the veins of the leaf. A little bit at a time. Just filling in any place that's white in this leaf. And if you are using um, an easel, Sometimes you have to lift it up a little bit to get on the bottom there. Okay, just nice short 
slow strokes back and forth. I feel like the little pink parts are kind of shaped like a like a kidney bean or something. So we just want to keep some of the shape there in the pink. the pink part over here. I'll have to come back and fill that guy in. Alright, so I'm just smoothing out the paint here. Any place that feels like a little too globby, uh, scrape the brush off. Just smooth it out. After you've filled it in, you can go back in with longer brush, uh, brush strokes to smooth everything out. Make it look a little more even. Just kind of adding, going like layer by layer. I'm gonna try to get close up to where the vein of the leaf is. You can even overlap that vein a little bit by overlapping the vein of the leaf here and that, um, that plain green. It's gonna kind of turn that plain green darker in some areas, so it'll kind of give it um, like an automatic shadow or a little bit of depth, which is nice. So I'll say that again. You're just going to kind of get as close as you can to the vein of the leaf, and you're even going to overlap it a little bit with this new green, okay, and it's going to automatically add a little bit of a shade in there, a little bit of a shading effect. Okay, so all the veins, just slightly overlapping it with this new uh, green that we made all along. And this is also ensuring that we're covering up any spots that are white in the leaf as well. Hi, Melanie. All right. So now that I filled that in, now I'm going to fill this guy in. And what I'm doing is I'm allowing time for um, this first coat that I did up here to dry so that I can go back in and if I want to darken up any spots again, um, we can darken up some of that. All right, so moving on here. Again, just filling in with the short strokes. I'm gonna estimate that we've got about 25 more minutes with this. I 
Remember, feel free to ask any questions that you have. We'll make it more. Three brown, two green. Going through a lot of this color. I'm just working my way around the veins of the leaf. Short, slow strokes with the brush. And then anywhere that it's looking globby or that I need to fill in, I'm just gonna then um, wipe off the excess paint on my brush, just wanting paint on the tip of my brush. And I'm gonna go in then, after I've done all the small uh, short strokes, then with some longer strokes, I'm gonna try to smooth out the edges. create some shading there. And if you guys haven't already seen um, on our Facebook page before, but one of our custom artists, Gladymar, has an amazing uh, botanical mural. Well, she's actually done three of them already for the studio. That we're so excited to show you guys. But we do have some sneak peeks, some videos and pictures of those online. And this painting just reminds me of those murals. All right, so yeah, I'm just filling it in here, going around those light pink parts. I have some white spots here from where I didn't fill in the pink. So I'm just trying to fill those in now. And then I think I'm going to add some in on our camouflage leaf here. I need to add in some of this color. So I'm just going to pick some random sections to add this color in since we haven't added this one yet. Again, with the short strokes here. There's no rhyme or reason to where you're putting the colors on this one, just any of the random sections on there. I'll add some more over here. And let us know if there's any um, particular canvas theme you want us to paint. Well, let us know. Oh, Melanie likes my music. Thanks, Melanie. Cheryl Crow. Yeah, let us know if there's any other um, specific canvas projects that you want to see. 
that we can show you guys. Love to hear your feedback and your input on what you want to paint next. I'm going to add some more of this green down here. I feel like I haven't given any love to this leaf down here. Just filling in the sections one at a time here. Some over here. Right, I'm going to add the screen on the inside here. start from the bottom and work my way up. I'm going to add, it's up to you if you want to um, add a second coat or darken this up a little bit. I just feel like mine are looking like a little bit streaky, so I just want to add some more paint on there. It's totally your preference. Scraping off the excess paint. Yeah, I think that's better. It just is uh, that first coat. Sometimes it can be a little transparent because we didn't add a lot of, we didn't add any white into that. Usually when you add white into something, it helps to kind of thicken up the color, but because we didn't add any white to this one, it's a little transparent, so that's why I'm just doing an additional coat. Like I said, you don't have to do this, but it's kind of your preference. But I just think that the dark and the light contrast, it's gonna look better. So I'm just going in and adding Since I already have like the base coat, I can work a little quicker this time around. Just trying to remember these are thin. So just be careful. Hopefully we still have some of that pink left and we can always make some more. We'll just need, a, might just need a teeny bit. I think I'm just gonna need a teeny bit of pink in the end to kind of go in and clean it up. You can see this time around my strokes are a little bit longer because I already have that base coat down on there. So I'm able to just kind of lightly and faster go right over what I just did. Yeah, 
Yeah, you let me know, but I think that's like popping a lot better that way. The colors pop anymore. Um, all right, so I'm gonna add some more, another coat in on the big monster leaf here. Some more of that raw umber. I'm gonna grab that. make the paint move a little bit more on the canvas. You can always do that. Just put a teeny bit of water on your brush if you feel like it's getting globby in any spots. I'm just trying to work around the veins of the leaf as well. I'm still wanting to have that contrast of the vein of the leaf there. Let me know if I'm moving too quick here. I haven't heard from Winnie. Are you good, Winnie? If you feel like you're just like moving the paint around that you're not like adding, like that it's not helping it look less transparent, um, then that just means that you need to let it dry a little bit longer. Okay, I'm going a little quick. Okay. This first coat look a little, a little more opaque, a little less transparent. At least that's the look that I want. I just feel like it's gonna make the other colors pop more as well. So again, this mix, it's three of the brown and two of the green. Monstera. And that's really the great thing about acrylic is you just keep layering, you just keep adding to it, and it's just going to kind of evolve as, as you go. So if you're like, oh, this is too dark, you know, you just add some white. Add a lighter color and it'll lighten right up for you. Oh, whoa, this is a throwback song. Yikes. All right, so I don't know if on camera you can see the difference between the color of this big one and this one here. Um, but there's definitely a difference right now. So I'm gonna start in the next coat on this one. This 
this one. I feel like I kind of lost the vein of the of the, the sleeve. So if that happened to you, if you're losing the contrast of the inside of the leaf, I think I'm going to go back and um, I just add it again. done in this same color. I'm just going over it in my camouflage leaf here. singing this song. Uh, I'm like having a mind blank of who sings this song, but right. Doing my second coat on these guys in the corner here. And um, also, if you don't already have it, these, these leaves come to a point here. These guys and this one in the corner here. So they're supposed to come to a, a bit of a point. So if your dark green um, isn't coming to a point, you're just going to, in order to make that point, again, just get a little bit of paint at the tip of your brush. Let's see. And just lightly start and just kind of lightly tap it. Just kind of like your da a dabbing motion. Okay, so rather than brushing it, you're just gonna be like dabbing and that's gonna help you get the point, the pointed edge, okay, if you need to do that. So it's just like a dabbing motion. I'm just gonna do that for just all of these just so that they all have a point at the end. It's just like the little details as we get toward the end. Alright, same thing down here. I'm just going to add my dabbing to my brush here. Just add the little points.
class with me before or at the Firestone. What was your favorite class that you took? And you can use that dabbing technique again on any of the leaves if you want to add like a pointed edge to any of them. So, um, remember I said I kind of lost my the veins in this one. So I'm gonna go back to the first green that we made. Um, if you still have it, if not, we can make it again. Um, it was, I wanna say, let's see, what color was that? Was it two parts? two parts green, one part of the raw umber brown, and one part white. Two parts green, one part brown, one part white. And I'm just going to go in and, and um, kind of add that, the veins back in. Ooh, I got a lot of paint on there. Scrape that off. Just in case you lost it. I kind of lost mine, so. Just adding it back in there for some contrast. small veins up here. Alright, same thing on this side. If you feel like the veins disappeared at all, you can just go back in. Just go right over those. And this paint, the darker green is probably still a little wet on your canvas, so um, that's not a bad thing because then it will just automatically blend together. And that's okay because we want it to look natural. All right, so I'm just going over the veins again, smoothing everything out. some more of that first green color into the camouflage leaf just to add because we still got a lot of white there so I'm going to add some sections just filling the lines coloring book. Just one at a time. And again, it's okay if the colors are blending together. That'll make it look more natural that way anyways.
Hopefully everybody's caught up with me here. I'll give you guys a minute. Oh yay, Stacy. I'm glad, yeah, I remember your thankful plate. It was so good. So I think I'm gonna add, um, now that I'm here, hopefully everybody's kind of caught up. And I really like this light green. So I think I'm gonna add some more light green in here on any of the spots that you might still have bare, any of the bare canvas here. Um, so I'm gonna rinse my brush. Just use one of your medium sized brushes. And you might still have some of that light green left. I'm gonna actually add in a little bit of the regular green mixed with that light green. So it's gonna be like a little bit darker than what we've been using. And I'm just gonna add some more, fill these guys in. So again, I'm just taking, it's our light green mixture. So it's um, the titanium white mixed with the green dioxide. And I'm just filling in more segments of that, those last two leaves. I'm trying to leave out some of this middle vein as well. There's still that middle vein and that we haven't done. Or if you've done it already, that's okay. We can do it again at the end. Just keeping up with my short, slow strokes as I fill in the leaf a little at a time here. Just section by section. This painting has a lot of layers. Coming together. I think, what is it? I think, um, what day? On Monday, we're gonna paint the Highland Cow. So I know we've advertised that in the past. That's a really fun one. Um, that's probably my favorite canvas that we've done. That one has a bunch of neon colors in it. Super pretty. Um, so yeah, if you pick up your kits between now and Tuesday, we're going live with that one. Um, is it Tuesday or no? It's Monday. Sorry. Monday is the Highland Cow. And that one's going to be a nighttime one as well. That one's going to be at seven o'clock on Monday night. Filling these in section by section. Remember, if you feel like this is too thick. 
turn your brush on its side and it automatically becomes a little bit of narrower for you. Blending, blending. And I'm just kind of like blending these colors together a little bit. All right, so at this point, I'm just gonna pick any of the greens that we've made, any green that you want to just fill in any remaining parts, uh, any remaining parts of these two leaves here, okay? Any of the greens that we've made. Just whatever you need to fill in. So with the short strokes, I get some of my darker color here. We're getting there, guys. We're closing in. We're nearing the finish line. Blending things together as we go. Hopefully everybody can still see. I don't know, is my thing glitching? I feel like my thing keeps freezing, so. Hopefully it's all good. All right, so um, the last thing I'm gonna do on these two leaves here is I need to do the stem uh, part in the middle of the veins of the leaves here that I didn't do. So I'm gonna use that dark color, the darkest green that you have in your palette. If you need to make more, it's the brown mixed with the green, three parts brown, two parts green. And we're gonna start, um, I'll start from this side, and we're just gonna do short strokes. I think I need a thinner brush. I'll switch my brush to a thinner one. So my brush is a little bit thinner. 
If you don't have a smaller brush, again, turn your brush on its side. Oh good, you can see me? Okay, good. It's probably just on my end. All right, so this just has that one, that one big center vein on it. This one doesn't have any like going off to the side. This just has that one long center vein. Okay, same thing down here. And do this vein from the bottom right down the center and do a little bit here as well and do some of the dark color here just to break it up since I have a lot of light green down there see if there's any spots on here that have a lot of globs of paint all right anything that needs to be smoothed out now would be the time to do that anything that you see that looks too transparent to you that you want to add some more paint to add another layer um, you're gonna go ahead and do that so we'll take a few minutes to just go ahead and smooth out any spots on there. After that, we're gonna take our pink and go back in with the pink and any, with your smallest brush and the pink and any spots that you see that still need pink, we're also gonna fill those in, all right? So first, take the next few minutes, like, like I said, look it over, any spot that needs to be smoothed out. You can always add water onto your brush. That helps to smooth any spots out that you need. Anything that looks like it needs to be blended. Anything that looks like it needs another coat. Now is the time for that. kind of like rounding out some of my leaves here. Maybe you want to add some more leaves to your, to your piece, whatever you want to do. The fun thing about art, you can do whatever you want. using the same brush. Same brush all over. If I happen to have some light green and it mixes with, with the dark green, I'm fine with that. I just want everything to look smooth and kind of like blended. But if you don't want your colors to look blended, if you want them to be sectioned off, then you're going to want to switch brushes or rinse your brush in between each time. All right, so now that I'm pretty happy with the blending that I just did, kind of overall on all of my different greens, now I'm gonna go back in and touch up anything that needs that light pink. 
because um, I do still have some bare spots on the canvas that need a light pink. So for this step, I would use whatever is your smallest brush. And um, you, you may still have some of that pink left. If it's dried up by now, um, you're gonna just, I would just do one part of white mixed with just a half part of the red. Okay, so one brush load of white mixed with a half of the red. And again, it's okay if it's not the exact pink color that you had before. If you want it to be exact, then you might be doing some mixing for a little while to get it to that exact color again. Um, but these types of paintings, we want dimension here. We want to see um, different kind of colors popping and showing through. So it's okay if it's not exact. So all I'm gonna do is like, you know, I see some big spots here of the white. So I'm just gonna, again, focus on keeping the paint on the tip of my brush. So I'm, brush I'm scraping off any excess and just nice and slow, I'm just gonna try to get up as close as I can to the leaves. Okay. Just covering up those white spots. Well, I guess I'm not working that slow, but <laughs> just covering up any of the white spots. And just if you can at this point, kind of making the edges of those leaves again into like a point or like a triangle. This is now is the time that you're also able to do that on the ends here. that little reserve of white. If you're getting really low on your white, try to keep a little reserve, just a little bit. We're almost done. I feel like I've said that already, but... Going in, I got a little, I got a little green on my brush that time, so I'm just gonna cover that up a little. See, some of my green was still a little bit wet over here, so it just mixed in with the pink. That's okay though, because the beauty of acrylic is that if that happens, you just go right back over it and you cover it up with a different color. All right, so again, I'm just going, kind of trying to make all these into points, just filling in any place that needs pink. I see a little, a few spots um, in the leaves that still need some pink. Remember, just like for reference, just try to kind of make like a kidney bean shape if you've lost um, where the original tracing was on here. Doesn't have to be perfect. fall in the other room. Alright. Just filling in the pink here. Filling in. 
Hopefully the more pink you're adding, it's making the green pop even just that much more. Remember you should be using your smallest brush here. How's everybody doing? We're getting quiet. Must be getting, we're getting tired now. <laughs> Just filling in the pink. Anywhere that I see that needs it. Remember, if you can, always try to work left to right. We doing? Anybody have any questions? How's it? How's it looking on your end, guys? What's a highlight, you say? Um, a highlight is just adding a lighter color, and it's really just there to imply that there's some light hitting it, okay? Um, then same thing with a shadow. When you're shadowing something or using a shade, it's adding a darker color, and that's just giving the painting, um, you know, some depth that way, okay? So a highlight, always means it's getting lighter. Shadow is it's getting darker. So all of the spots that we have that are this real light, our lightest green, we're going to highlight those in certain spots. So I'm rinsing my brush. And that, make sure to dry the bristles first. So the color that I'm looking to make now is, I just want to go one shade lighter than this, than the lightest green that I have. So whatever is the lightest green that you made, you're just gonna add a little bit of white to that. So we're just adding a little bit of white. So that lightest green that we have, And we're just gonna come in and add a little bit of highlight. Okay, so we're gonna imagine that the light is coming from this side, okay? I'm not gonna say right or left because I feel like I can't figure that out, but the light is coming from here, okay? Shining down. Let's see, everybody getting that? All right, so I'm just gonna come in, just add a little bit of the light color, just highlighting. I just have a teeny bit of paint on my brush. Just coming in and adding a little bit of that white on that 
light green, anywhere that, that lightest green is, you're just adding a little bit. to see on camera but it's just the slightest lighter color just adding it along the edges of some of your, of your leaves some of your light green leaves just helping to bring this to life a little bit okay highlights and shadows are something that differentiates a photograph um, you know from a painting so we just want to add some of those highlights and shadows in on our painting to make it feel more real do this as the last step as well um, just so that way I have all the colors on there that I know that I want and just for me this is just always the last step of the brown and green okay so I'm just adding a teeny bit of that brown green mixture into the white so a teeny bit of the brown green in with the white and I'm just going to add a few highlights here as well on these real dark spots I'm going to add some water because it's a little too light If it gets too light, you can paint right back over it. I'm going to paint over this because I feel like it got a little too light up there. And just keep adding the darker colors back if you want to darken it up and the lighter colors if you want to lighten it up. Kind of darken mine up again a little bit. All right, so you can should be able to see like it's a little bit lighter up here than it is down here. Right, the light's hitting it from the top a little bit. Okay. it's lighter here than it is on the bottom is everybody getting that
top here. A little bit of a highlight. Same thing over here with our really dark stuff over here. Just going to add a little bit of depth, just a teeny bit of a highlight here up at the, towards the top. And one side here. This is just, the, the color that I'm using is just one color, like one shade lighter um, than what I'm putting it on top of. Okay, so I'm just adding some little, so you can see like the left side here is darker and this right side is a little bit lighter. Just giving it some depth. about done here. Say if anybody has any um, final questions for me, let me know. Otherwise, yeah, we're just uh, highlighting and can add some shadows in there as well. Remember the shadows are just a little bit darker. So if there's any spot on here that you wanna add some shadows to, I would say add that brown, that dark umber color. In with the green. And we can get some shadows happening in here. It's a little bit darker. Got any more questions for me? Let's see. I don't know. I think this is going to be it. I think this is going to be the finished product here, guys. I'm happy with it. You can see mine's definitely like a little bit darker than the original, but um, again, totally up to you. Whatever you want to do. Just let me know if there's any more questions that you have. Um, I'll go back through and answer. I'm sure DK has been answering you guys as well, but if there's anything um, that I can help you with, I'll be here. And I hope you had fun. Thanks for joining me. Um, super fun to do these little at-home tutorials with you guys. I know we're going to be doing one tomorrow and uh, Monday and Tuesday. So stay tuned and um, like I said earlier, let us know what, what else you guys want to see. Uh, I'd love to take some requests on what you want us to paint next. But I appreciate you guys for being here. Um, stay tuned. We can't wait to see you guys in studio again. Shop local. Stay safe. Wash your hands. All right, guys. See you soon. Bye.